There's a case going on. It's a real nightmare. Benicio Del Toro and Alicia Silverstone play husband and wife in Reptile. Alicia's character, she helps Benicio's character with his detective work around their home. How'd you land on this dynamic? That was something that was in the script and we thought it would be very interesting. One of the things that um, I enjoy about the movie is that it portrays these characters, like specifically Benicio's character as a detective, but who also has a personal life, like he's obsessed with his faucet and his kitchen, and it shows the other side. It's not like this hardened detective and like their whole life is this case, which we've seen, which is cool. These people who solve these crimes are, are real people too. Yeah. You know, so. And they want nice things. They want a nice life. They yeah, want they, everybody sick. wants, exactly, they're just <laughs> like the rest of us, yeah. you know? So I think there's a relatability um, to that dynamic, and it, it, it felt appropriate for the movie. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? You have an accomplished music video career. How does that prepare you for directing your first feature? What you learn from making music videos is, first of all, you get experience on set, which is yes. priceless. And the more you do something, the the more confident you get it, the better you get at it. I don't know if anything can really prepare you for a movie. I mean, it's it's shooting so much in a day that's like you can't go back you know it's like whatever you got that day it's like you got to get it now i have a sense of style and aesthetic and you bring the things that you intuitively learn over your career to whatever project that you're doing next but i do approach filmmaking i think very directing very intuitively a lot of times i have an idea for how i want um how i envision a scene to be um before i even shoot it and then when you're there on the day you start rehearsing and you get inspired and oftentimes it changes. And I, I think one of the things I learned from this experience was just to allow myself to, to be surprised in the day and, and, and you know, almost surprise myself. Just call the angel. You gotta think about your future. Speaking of music, there's a song that features prominently in the film, Angel of the Morning. How'd you land on that song and what is its significance in Reptile? One morning um, when we were editing the movie, uh, that song came on, like on my Spotify. Oh, it has um, a sweetness and a playfulness that I felt could be a nice counterpart to some of the more brooding, ominous, tense, and suspenseful moments. Like I think that sometimes by showing the counterpoint to something, it almost brings out the feeling even more. What do you think it means? Reptile is an evocative yet vague title. What does Reptile mean to you? I've always loved one word titles. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted the title to be um, enigmatic mm -hmm. and thought provoking. Characters in the film are introduced as one thing and revealed to be something else. There's a sort of shedding of skin that occurs. Ah, um, yes. And I feel like it was appropriate, and it just felt right for the movie. Interesting, huh? 